Hi mermaids! So welcome to Dolphin Week. Dolphin Week, and um, it's really 12 days of dolphins, but Dolphin Week sounds really cool and it plays off of Shark Week. So Dolphin Week begins today. I'm really excited. We're going to be connecting with the dolphins and the whales today for the next 12 days. And we're starting off today. I will be sending you later on today, I will we'll be showing up in the group and giving you a little bit of, um, this is kind of a spontaneous live, which I'll probably be doing, but I'll be doing at least two, maybe three scheduled lives, um, including on the full moon on Friday. So Friday, we're going to meditate with dolphins and whales on the full moon, and that will be kind of a whole ceremony. Today, I wanted to kick off and welcome everybody, and I wanted to welcome the spirits of the dolphins and the whales into this temple space, online temple space, Sisterhood of the Mermaid Moon. So if you're alive or if you're on replay, if you would like to just go ahead and feel or visualize dolphins and whales pouring into your energy field, pouring into our group, Sisterhood of the Mermaid Moon, however you see them coming is perfect. And what we're going to be doing today as we start off is I'm going to be sharing um, some messages that were coming through from the dolphins and the whales on my meditation pillow this morning. So let's get right into it. And this does relate to the climate of the world right now, everything that we've been processing internally. So the dolphins and the whales are going to meet us right where we are um, and help us to find more joy. So welcome if you're joining live. If you're joining live, let me know. If you're joining on replay, let me know. Give me a dolphin emoji or a comment. I'd love to see you. Okay. So yeah, I, on my meditation pillow this morning, I, so I personally, like probably most of you have really been feeling the collective energy, um, the, the, the very like passionate, um, discussions and everything that's happening in the world and seeing people hurting and all of this. And my nervous system has just, um, hi Wendy, thanks for leaving a little dolphin. Uh, my nervous system has really been feeling it. Like it was literally like today and this morning it was feeling like really jittery. Um, and I wasn't feeling super grounded in my body. Uh, perhaps you can relate to this right now, like always wanting to check social media or always wanting to engage in some of these discussions, things like this. So I did some chanting, I did some singing, and I brought the dolphins in. And what they showed me was to first go down into my second chakra. So I started just meditating with the energy of my second chakra. I've been doing this lately. It's actually a very powerful experience. We'll likely do it on this session today. So I just went down into my second chakra. I didn't really add light. I didn't try to like whirl it this way, whirl it that way, bring in this, bring in that. I just sat with the energy of my second chakra and it was feeling really uncomfortable. And what the dolphins showed me and also my higher self uh, was the shame that was inside of my second chakra. So shame as a vibration tends to live in our second chakras. And for many of us, especially those of us who are white right now, we are going to be experiencing a heightened sense of shame. And this isn't just shame from the current global events, shame of being white and things like this. That's inevitably going to be feelings that we're going to be dealing with. So that's okay. But this is also everything in the world also right now is just highlighting shame in general that we hold in our bodies. So it might be about current global events or it might be a lot deeper. It might be coming from past lives, etc. And what the dolphins showed me is that shame right now and shame especially that is living in our second chakras is what I was getting was the most important frequency for us to sit with and us to transmute because shame is like a killer. It's like it shuts down our true voice. It shuts down our ability to respond with groundedness and compassion. And so what's happening right now through my lensing is that many of us who are feeling shame right now about these global events are not actually able to sit with it. We haven't been taught how to sit with shame. We haven't been taught how to transmute that. Shame is extremely uncomfortable to feel in our bodies. So what happens is we have this feeling, but we don't want to sit with it. So 
many of us, myself included, have been going to social media, have been getting a part of any discussion we can we can discuss. We've been wanting to feel like good people. We've been reposting everything that we see just to, to feel like we care so we don't have to feel our shame. And obviously this is probably going to be different if you are a person of color and you're experiencing your own, your own kind of journey. But regardless of what color your skin is, you understand and you know what the frequency of shame feels like because we all carry it, right? So that's been happening, right? And it's very ungrounded. We're going onto social media. It's feeling very ungrounded. It's feeling very like, whew, like a lot of energy happening. So the invitation from the dolphins is actually to go, hey, remember, remember our spiritual activists, remember our beings of, of absolute light and divine children. Remember that the microcosm is what we need to attend to. And then we'll be able to see shifts in the macrocosm. So, so much of our energy right now is being put on the macrocosm and oh I want this to change and I don't know how and I want this to change and ah and what the dolphins are saying is come back in take care of your microcosm take care of your microcosm and especially today the message is let's go into the second chakra and especially for those of us who are white and who are feeling a sense of shame or guilt deep down, whether we've recognized that feeling or not, whether we've named it or not, it will be especially important for us to sit with these frequencies of shame because the divine does not want us to feel shame. Shame is an extremely distorted vibration, but it is hanging out in our fields anyway. So the dolphins can come in and we'll do this together in the session, like I said. And if you're live or on replay, I'd love to know. I see there's more people joining us. Give me a little dolphin emoji. Let me know how you're feeling today. And if you're stoked on Dolphin Week, I'd love to hear from you. Because when you're talking to a, you can see people watching and you're talking to like a screen. You're like, who's there? Talk to me. Um, so yeah, the invitation is to go into the, the second chakra and just to feel. And what happens when we do that, when we actually take time to unplug and sit, and sit with the frequencies that are happening and love them and just let them be and let them transmute with the power of our awareness, we become a lot more grounded. And we're able to recognize what our true place within all of these world events is right we're able to recognize um oh this is what i need to be doing right now or this is what i need to be doing right now there's a lot of incredibly amazing passionate well-educated people that are you know sharing what they think we need to all be doing which can be very helpful but it becomes unhelpful if we don't first check in with ourselves and our souls and our hearts to first receive the message from the divine. Hey, where am I at? What is my soul's mission within all of this? What is my truest expression to serve the liberation of all beings? So that is the dolphin's message for us today as we start off Dolphin Week. Where are you at? Reconnect with yourself. We're going to go back into the second chakra. We're going to feel our divinity start to activate again, right? Thanks, Bianca, for the, the dolphin in the heart. Um, and that's really, really important. And you'll notice, you know, throughout the, this dolphin week and connecting with dolphins and whales, that a constant um, theme is connection with your true self first and foremost, always. And I think they're showing up at this time in our group and in this way, you know, I've been thinking about doing this for a while and here we are now at this time, interesting timing, to bring us back to our true selves and remind us, you are the divinity that you need. You are the healing that you need. That's you. Give yourself permission to go on your meditation pillow, to go out in nature for a walk and breathe and breathe into dis to the discomfort, um, but eventually we're gonna be able to go deeper. So my invitation for us is we're just gonna sit with our second chakras today, and we're gonna bring in the dolphins and the whales to remind us that no matter the shame that we may be feeling right now, or the guilt, or the trauma, or anything that is happening and coming up with us, you know, depending on where wherever we're at in our lives, Underneath of that is our true divinity and our innocence. And we will be much more 
helpful to this world and we will be much more powerful in service to the liberation of all beings if we lead from a place what, that we're in touch with our own innocence, right? You might notice if you open your third eye, if you open your heart, that a lot of people are feeling really, really not connected to their innocence right now especially white people, right? We're feeling really disconnected from our innocence and we're trying to talk over it and do everything over it, right? Wendy says, love it. Ask the divine what is for us to do. I've been doing this over and over. Thank you for doing that. So we're going to come back today. We're going to come back in Dolphin Week. They are master teachers around innocence, you know? Our divine truths are innocent. Um, when I speak of innocence, it's not, hey, we've never done anything wrong or off or distorted in our lives. That is, you know, a superficial, you know, idea of innocence. True innocence is about you being a child of the divine. True innocence is about your soul being luminescent. True innocence is about your soul and your, your higher self being so powerful and so unconditionally beautiful. It's about reconnecting with the divine spark of life that is you and forgiving yourself for anything that's ever acted from other than that place. And that's super important right now. Okay. So Wendy says, yes, thank you. So let's go ahead and close our eyes if you're down. We're only going to do this for maybe two, three, probably max four minutes. So don't worry if you're not feeling like a super big meditation right now. You just logged on to Facebook and saw this. Just start to breathe. And I'm so glad that we're doing this on a social media platform to just um, bring in this pattern disruptor. So start to breathe. And I want you to just go right down to your second chakra. So that will be probably, you know, maybe an inch or a couple inches, maybe even a few inches below your belly button. So just feeling into your second chakra, locating where that is. If you're not sure, if you can't feel it, just imagine. And I want you to feel the feelings that are there, that are present. Really be brave with yourself, calling on the dolphins, the spirits of the dolphins and the whales to support you. If you need help, you can visualize dolphins and whales swimming around in your second chakra. And just breathe. If it helps, you can place one or both hands right over your belly, your womb. And start to feel any feelings that are coming up in the second chakra. And just breathe. Bring your awareness constantly back to the second chakra. And if it's uncomfortable, honor the discomfort and hang out with it. If it feels great, honor that feeling. If it feels intense or numb, all we're doing right now is we're just feeling. We're saying, hello, second chakra. Second chakra associated right with water. The womb, the mother. So, of course, also with dolphins and whales. And as we focus on the second chakra, you might feel like, well, what is this doing? I just feel uncomfortable. So shouldn't I breathe in light or shouldn't I make a magic spell to shift it? Nope, not right now. We're just using breath. We're just breathing into it. Breathe into everything that you feel. If it helps, you can visualize whales or dolphins swimming around in that second chakra, activating you. And just go as deep as you're ready to go right now. And this is just helping to anchor us into our bodies and giving those feelings a much needed space of honor. So if you're just joining us live, we're just breathing into our second chakras. That's all we're doing. If that helps, you can also just notice the orange color of the second chakra. You can visualize it. You can visualize it spinning. But overall, your awareness is simply going to be with the feelings within this womb space area. 
and to accept all that you're feeling, to allow it. And now we can bring in some words of affirmation. I'm willing to love you. You can say that to this energy that you're feeling if it feels uncomfortable. I'm willing to love you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my teacher. Thank you, Divine Innocence, for activating. Thank you, whales and dolphins, for activating my second chakra now. I choose to ground into my body and honor all my feelings. And so it is. Great. And you can open your eyes whenever you're ready. Thank you so much for doing that with me. Um, if you feel like you want to share um, anything about that, please do. Um, the longer that you do this, and I would definitely encourage you to do this outside of this space so you're alone, and you might even want to put some whale and dolphin sounds on. I'll be sharing some whale and dolphin sounds today and throughout the course of the next 12 days that are free on YouTube. You can just put those on and you can just meditate with your second chakra and feel. And this has a profound effect on your nervous system, on your level of grounding, on your ability to be grounded in your body. And it will really help you to create this kind of force field of beautiful light and energy um, that will help you to stay grounded in these times. So remember that the dolphins and the whales message is you are innocent, pure divine sparks of light. And in order to be effective leaders in this global climate, in order to be really effective, powerful beings of change and light and transmutation, you're going to need to be in touch with your divine innocence. Even if you feel, it's not necessarily what is actually happening, but even if you feel like the collective is saying, you need to feel shameful, you need to feel guilty, um, you know, you're bad or you're wrong, you know, we're all, I think a lot of us are feeling like that right now, depending on where we're at in our life and, and you know, a lot of, a lot of different things. And that's okay. That's one level of consciousness and we hold space for that. But we need to be strong enough to go into our bodies and remember, oh, wait a second, I am divine innocent light. And that doesn't mean that I haven't made mistakes or done, you know, bad things in my life. But again, in order to be the effective leader that I want to be right now, even if that's just a leader in your family, a leader in your community, a leader in your own heart, we need to get in touch with the truth of our own beings, right? The truth of our own divine innocence. And, you know, that's my kind of that's where I'm at right now. And that's where I'm going to be over the next 12 days with you within the dolphins and the whales to connect in with that divine essence and that joy within. Um, and from there, again, that's going to say, hey, you need to do this or you need to do this and you need to do this. And that's going to be much, a much stronger action and much more genuine. Um, what else just came up right now? I don't know. Maybe it'll come back later in another, another session. Okay. So yeah. Uh, bring in the dolphins and the whales if you feel like that would really support you. Wendy says, yeah, it's true. Yeah. And, um, oh, what was that thought that just came up? Hang on. Let me see if I can get it. It was like divine innocence. We are divine innocence. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, my encouragement would be to work on that. So much love. Thank you so much. And we will have lots of different content with Dolphin. We keep a lookout for another post today in this group with a little bit of a, a schedule on how things will flow. Uh, many blessings, much love, and may you know yourself as love and may you really honor whatever your soul is telling you right now because that is, oh, I remember what I was going to say. Okay, this is actually important. Sorry. Um, so as a spiritual activist, let's call myself, right, which I know many of you are, right? Um, what I'm curious about is when I see things like this, I go, but what is the real root? You know, on one level, someone who is a, um, a different sort of activist, which is very, very important, mm -hmm. is... Um, sorry, 
someone's messaging me right now, is, okay, well, the, the root is, uh, you know, systemic injustice, oppression, which is like, yeah, 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 for sure. But what I, what I do as a spiritual activist is I go even deeper, um, in my opinion, right? Maybe some people, that's 100% their truth, and it's, it's perfect. I'm not taking away from that. But I go, but what's the root of that? right? What's the root of that? And I think the root of that is disconnection from the heart and disconnection from the divine, disconnection from God. Um, and that's where I'm choosing to put my activism right now. That is where I'm choosing. I'm a spiritual where I'm choosing, you know, does that mean that I'm not, you know, engaging with multiple levels of reality? Does that mean that I'm not, you know, engaging with anti-racism work? No, not at all. There's multiple levels that we can work on. But the bulk of my focus right now is going to, and always goes to, right, as many of you share this with me, how can I be more connected to my heart? How can I be more connected to the divine? And what is my role? And how can I be a pillar of light so that it's easier for other people to connect in with their hearts and to connect in with the divine? And it's easier for other people to remember who they truly, truly, truly are. So Deidre says, we need dolphin and whale energy right now. Thank you, Beth. Yeah, man, thank you, whales and dolphins. So maybe, you know, that is helpful for you in some way to just kind of remember um, again, there's a lot of people saying a lot of things. You need to do this. You know, if you want to be helpful, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. And I loved this term that I, uh, I came across from a, a black woman yesterday. And it was like, what was, it was called performance activism, right? I'm doing this to feel like a good person. I'm into spiritual activism where I'm like, what's really real here? What's really, really real here? And if I feel shame, I don't want to be a performance activist to try to help myself feel better by posting, 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 posting. I want to sit with the real stuff that's going on in my body, tend to the microcosm and go, I know, I'm woken up enough to know that the more I anchor love for myself and compassion for all beings, the more effective I'm going to be at creating planetary change that equals liberation for all beings. So don't forget that, my loves, and welcome in the whales and dolphins for the next 12 days and beyond to support you in your amazing missions. Wendy says, that's right. So lots of love. You're so awesome. Bye.